Can I ask a very straightforward question? Isn't this reasonable in the sense that if you've got a, re a recently elected government with a big agenda to do, mm -hmm. it's part of their job to clear out obstacles internally I, and externally well, from doing it, what they want to do? It is and it isn't in that they've come to, to power with a, with, their, with a great mandate and with also a, a programme of change. But we have to also remember that in this country the civil service are supposed to be independent and you can't just annihilate everybody who disagrees with you. It all talks to that sort of idea that we're having at the moment in the government that anybody who's not on message must be exterminated. I think the thing is that, I mean, this is a long time coming. I mean, you know, the, the, the civil service have, uh, over the years, been lots of, lots of various administrations have tried to do this. They've tried to sort of impose their will on the civil service. I mean, the idea that you could be bullied by, uh, that, that, you know, that, 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 a, that a top civil servant could be bullied by a minister is, is quite, is quite mm -hmm. laughable, really, if you know how these people work. I mean, they are the Sir Humphreys. They are, their job is to push back against ministers, of course, but they are, you know, their job is also to implement the government's policies. And, and, and if they're not doing that, then I think they do need to be, I think you know, shuffled yeah. around. But what is 